Hi, I'm Peter Kamstrom of Kamstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about absolute references and why we need them in Excel. I'm going to start by doing a formula here to calculate the price including VAT for this software here. And I have a price list here, as you see. I'm going to start by doing equals and then multiply the price by the VAT rate, like that. And you see that works fine just for the first one here. And if I continue doing the same thing, that of course works. And I don't need to use absolute references as long as I continue to type in the formula and multiply by B1. But if I do this and just pull this down, that is copying the formula from um, C4 all the way down to C20 you see that I get very very strange values here very, and most of them are wrong so let's see what happens when this actually does get copied see I get B5 the one to the left which is correct multiplied by the one one to the left and three up same thing with the next one I get the one to the left multiplied by the one one step to the left and two steps up so that's uh, what's described as a relative reference, relative in position to the cell which the formula is in. What you need to do instead is one of two things. The one I recommend, I'm going to do that one first, is actually naming this cell, naming it, let's see, VAT. Do that simply by entering a name up here and pressing enter on the keyboard. Now this cell, in addition to the B1, name also has another name VAT. So now I can actually go ahead and instead of uh, B1 there type in VAT. As you see I get that little symbol there representing that it, this is a named cell. And now I can press enter on that. And now I can fill down and you see all the values work as they should. So that's one way of doing it. I'm gonna do another variant of the same thing also which is called absolute variables and that's doing the same thing B1 uh, of course but w when I have the cursor here on B1 I'm gonna press the F4 button on my keyboard and that's gonna uh, make that reference an absolute one absolute um, meaning that it uh, it's gonna use that cell no matter how I copy that formula so the relative cell B4 one to the left multiplied by the absolute B1. The, uh, the absolute reference uh, is surrounded by dollar signs as you see here. Now I'm going to press enter and you see that still works on the first one but now if I copy that formula down all the way you see it still works and it's always using the B1 here. The one to the left multiplied by the B1 cell. So both of those work the named cell and the absolute reference with dollar signs. My preference is using the uh, VAT or the named cell as I said because that makes the formula much more readable in my opinion. The final formula in uh, this is of course uh, just a plus. So I'm just going to do that, that, plus. And of course in this case we have regular relative reference. Multiply the one two steps to the left with the one to the left. Add the one two steps to the left with the one to the left. Press enter on that and fill down. And of course that works all the way because by default Excel is using relative references. And of course I need to fix this VAT, it shouldn't be displayed as 0 0.25, it should be displayed as a percentage, that makes it all much nicer. Thank you for watching this demonstration.